Hey guys, it's Finn. This is the first video where I'm going to start coding the network. Uh, for the beginning, I have to say that I assume that you're familiar with Java and um, basic array um, operation and that stuff, because I'm not going to play, explain that in detail. Uh, furthermore, you should be familiar with multidimensional arrays, but if you aren't, it's not such a big problem because you will probably learn it in one of the next videos, but I'm not going to explain it in detail. Um, I'm working with IntelliJ. It there's not a um, it's similar to Eclipse, uh, so it's fine if you work with Eclipse or NetBeans or whatever. It's just um, easier f um, to program stuff in it, and I highly recommend um, programming in IntelliJ. But uh, yeah, um, so for the beginning, we need some basic variables that will not change when we do anything in our network. This is for example the private, um, I'm going to make it public, so public, um, final, end. It's going to be an array and I would call it uh, network uh, layer sizes and this array will store the data or the sizes of each layer in terms of how many neurons each layer has. Um, I'm going to give that in the constructor, so I'm going to create a new constructor and um, give the array to our class. Um, I'm not sure if you have seen this, but you can remove the um, brackets and write three points. This is way easier to work with because, for example, if you create a main method, um, you can call the constructor like this, which is pretty cool, I think. So network, net is a new network. Uh, and you can just write numbers uh, and so on. Um, so you don't have to write a new int array and enter the numbers here, which works as well. But it's uh, easier to write three points, so you can just enter the numbers here. Um, the next thing that we need for our network, um, I mean, we already can extract the data out of our layer sizes, but it's easier to have it extracted. So public, final, in, and we need the um, input size and the public final and output size. Um, furthermore, it would make sense if we have um, the public final and I'm going to call it network size. This will store the um, amount of layers that we got. Um, so this dot input size is um, equal to network layer sizes at zero and this dot Output size is equal to network dot. Um, oh wait, I'm going to st I'm going to use the network um, size first. So this dot network size is equal to um, network layer sizes dot length. So this is how many layers we got, and the output size is equal to the network layer sizes at the network size minus one. So the last index. Uh, we have to add minus one because the index of our first level layer is zero. And for example, if we um, have four numbers entered in here, so for example, no, um, network with four in the input, four in the output, one in the first hidden and three in the second hidden layer, uh, the size would be four. So the length of that array is four, but the index of the last um, element is three because this is um, element zero, one, two, and three. Um, okay, so this is pretty much it for the basic architecture. Um, I'm going to um, create some arrays that we are going to need to actually process some data, but the feed forward method is going to be programmed in the next video. Um, but I will just create the basic arrays that we are going to need for that. So uh, we need an output array uh, for every neuron. So I'm not going to create a class neon, I'm just going to create an array that stores the output of every neon. So a private, um, it, we are going to use doubles, not integer or floats, uh, because we need some precise numbers and um, float isn't precise enough, so double. We're, um, it's going to have two indices. The first one is for the layers that we're currently working in, and the uh, second one is for the neon that we're currently working with. So um, yeah, you will see what I mean with that. Um, I'm going to call it output, and we need the wakes array. These connects um, the wakes are uh, do connect the um, um, the neurons, but notice that we're going to have three indices. 
Um, this is not wake, this is double. And wake should be here. Um, it's th it has three indices because the first one is for the new one that we're currently working with. The second one is for the... No, wait, the first one is for the layer. The second one is for the new one that we're currently working with. And the third one is for the new one in the previous layer um, that it's connected with. Um, so every new one has multiple wakes connected to the previous layer, but only one output. This is why the um, output array has two dimensions and the wakes array has three dimensions. Um, and we have talked about the bias. So we need a bias array and every neon has only one bias. So it only has um, two indices. So um, private double bias. And um, I'm going to create them in the uh, constructor. So this dot output array is um, at, no, wait. Um, this dot output is a new double array. And the size is the network size. So for every layer, we, we're going to create a new array. Um, this is the same for the uh, wakes array and the bias array. But we have to enter the brackets here. So the wakes array, um, there's an array for every layer. Same for the bias. But notice that the first layer in the... Uh, the first layer does not have wakes connected to the previous layer because there is no previous layer for the first layer. Um, the input layer, or the first layer, isn't going to calculate anything. It's just going to pass the data to the next layer. So there's no um, no calculations happening. So um, we have to be careful when we create the um, the arrays. So um, I'm going to iterate through every layer. So for int i equals 0, i smaller than network size, and i++. Plus plus. And um, I'm going to create the output array at that layer. So for the this dot output at i is equal to a new double array. Um, the size of that is the network layer sizes at i. Um, we have to do this because in here we did not create the um, the second dimension. We only created how many. Uh, layers we got, but not how big each layer is. This is what we are going to do in here. We have to do the same for the bias. So this dot bias at i is a new double array. And this, um, we we have to ask if i is greater than uh, 0, because um, 0 would be the input layer, but um, we want to create a wakes array for every layer except the first layer. So if i is greater than 0, we are going to create a new wake, wakes array at i. So uh, wakes at i is in the double array, and the first dimension is the network layer sizes at i itself, and the second one is um, network layer sizes at i minus one, so the previous layer. Um, and this should be it for the first video. Um, if you have any questions, just type in the comment section, and I will answer them quickly. Um, in the next video, I'm going to um, talk about the feed method, and I hope to see you in the next video, guys.